Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Singla and in this video we are going to talk about a very important interview questions in JavaScript and that is how you can flatten an array of array. So flattening array of array has become one of the most common interview question across all the Elite companies and actually it is very easy question as long as you know the basics of recursion and how array function works in JavaScript. So to help you with this question, today video is all about recursion and how you can use recursion to flatten an array of array. Now if you don't know what is recursion, how it works, then I have already created a separate video on that where I have explained in detail like what is recursion and how you can write your own recursive function to solve most of the big challenges that we get in the programming. So if you didn't cover that video, I have provided the link in the description below, you can check it out. But now let's talk about how you can flatten an array of array. So now let's understand it with an example how you can flatten an array of array in JavaScript. So for today's demo, I have used any online JavaScript editor. You can choose any editor or you can write in your local text editor as well. So now let's understand like how you can flatten an array of array. So first let's understand what is flattening, right? So suppose we have one array and I will keep this demo very simple, right? Usually we have array like this, okay? But we can also have a situation where we have nested array. Okay, so now in this case, what I want, I want to display all the elements of my array. And it is a very simple example. Further, what I can do, I can also make it further nested. I can say like this. So it could be as much as nested as it can be, right? I don't know how much nested my array is. So in that case, if you have a requirement that you need to list out all the elements, so in that case, you first need to understand how much nested element you have. So you need to use loop to iterate over every element. And it is very difficult to know uh, which element further has nested element, right? So in this case, uh, the best way to write the code is using recursion. Fine, in simple term, recursion, if I explain, recursion is a process, right, where a function calls itself until it reached to a point where you get the output. So how we can use recursive function to flatten this array? And this is one of the frequently asked question in interview. They may give you different kind of scenarios, but the concept will remain same. So I'll keep this demo very simple so that you understand how we can use that. But it can be used in so many other situations. For an example, you have nested directory structures, right? They can give you one directory structure, JSON data. They can ask you like how you can display all the folders that you have. So the same rule will go there. If you have a DOM, nested DOM tree, how you will display all the nodes. There you can use this one. So let's see how we can use recursive function to solve this output. I need output something like this. I just want to display every element to a single depth like this and it can go further nested right as of now I have just only two level nesting here so the approach is very simple to get this output you just need to know two topics so if I talk about the approach first approach you just need to understand how recursive function work and second you need to know how to work with array and few array functions so now let's create one uh, recursive function where we will use this approach to solve to get this output. So now we have this array, right? What we can do, we can create one variable with the name of output. If you want to return a new array, you can define it as an array. If you want a string to be written like this, you can define it as an empty string. It's totally up to you. So now let's create a function and I'll give it a name of flatten. This function is going to be a recursive function. As of now, it is just a simple function. And at the end, this function will return a output that will hold this result. As of now, it is empty, right? 
and at the end what we can do we can invoke this function so we need to call this function right and this flatten function will work on my this array right so that will become the input of this function so when we have passed this array to this function we need to hold this one somewhere so that I can give it here in this variable so as of now when you run this function you will not get anything because output is empty right so first thing that you have to think while answering this question is to how you know that particular element is an array or not like this one two is not an array but here the third element here is further array so in javascript there is one built-in function so in javascript there is one built-in function that is called is array which basically used to check whether that particular element is an array or not if it is an array it returns true otherwise it returns false so that function we are going to use here to check whether that element is a array or not after identifying whether given index contain an array or not if it is an array then again you have to pass that array to this recursive function because that is the concept of recursion you call that function again and again until you don't get the respective output so when i say display one two then i found this is again an array then again i will make a call to this function and then flatten this value so this approach we are going to use right so first of all let's talk about simple function originally i have passed this complete array to this variable now in simple way we just need to use loop to iterate over each element so i will use a simple loop here i will say let i equals to zero that will start with zero and it will go up to array length and then i plus plus magic will start inside this first i will say every index is an array or not further right so i have to put simple condition so there is one function that is called array dot is array and whether that particular element inside this array is the further array or not if it is a further array then this will become a recursive call if it is not an array it means it's a simple value then i don't need to further call recursive function so in that case that value i simply pass to this output variable so if you want that you need to return one array flatten array then you can define it as an array if you just want to return one string then just keep it as a string so if it is a string then you have to just concatenate your string right like this if you use output as an array you can use output dot push method to push the element inside this output so when now when you run this one what output you are expecting let's run this one so can you see that it took out all the value which is not an array like 1, 2, then 6, then 12 and 13. So it means we have at least done this part that we have printed all the value which is not an array further. Now it means these value come inside this if block because when I say this element so it will return true because it's further an array. So in that case what we need to do we need to make a call to this function again and again this function will work and check whether that element inside this is a further array or not so it's very simple you just need to call this function again that this recursive function and pass a new array because this function accepts a array so now instead of passing original array what you will pass here you will pass this particular element which is an array so now when you save this one you will get your result so can you see that you get all the value in simple one string and this is what your interviewer will ask you how you can get this output so this output is same the way we have this one so to answer this question you just need to focus on two things like first what will be the terminating condition so here you when you will not call your recursive function again when it is not an array right if it is an array again and again then you have to call your recursive function again and again till the time this condition is not matched so this way you can get your answer you can flatten an array in a very easy manner so if you get similar kind of question in some another scenarios the approach will remain same i hope this concept and this demo is clear because definitely it will help you to solve most of the complex problem in your programming and definitely will help you to answer this question in the interview.
So if you found this video useful, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video with some more interesting topic. Till then stay connected and keep learning and staying safe.